have a signal. Okay, there's no water either. There's nothing. So gripping, so powerful. This Oscar-nominated Canadian takes on the end of the world as we know it in Into the Forest. Please welcome for BT exclusive, the incredible Ellen Page. Oh, I have oh, been gushing this whole time. We have so much to talk about. Let's talk about this. Not only starring in, mm -hmm. but also producing for the very first time. Why did you decide that this was the project to produce? Well, you know what? I read Jean England's beautiful book of the same name, Into the Forest, uh, and I was so blown away and moved, and it included so a lot of themes that I was thinking about at the time, still thinking about, that I think a lot of people are thinking about in terms of our world and it's changing and what does that mean? And, uh, and, to, be t and to have this post-apocalyptic story told in an intimate way, you know, in this re relationship between two sisters and their, uh, their, their, their struggle to survive. And um, I just was blown away by it and I thought this would make a good movie. Yeah. So. We oh, moved forward. It resonates with me. I was just talking to you about even after, of course, we're not going to give away what happens. You just start thinking about the scenario. You put yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. Is that why you think we are so drawn to these movies? Because this isn't the fire and brimstone version of the end of the world. It's very intimate. Yeah. It's one family's experience. Yeah, and I think that's potentially because I feel like a lot of people have, you know, expressed what you just said and, and it's staying with them and they're thinking about it. And I, I think because the film does feel true in a way, you know, and it's set only slightly in the future, five, ten years maybe, that um, I think it resonates with people because they, they are thinking, oh, well, this, is this possible? Is this something that will happen? What would I do? How would I survive? What is my relationship to the yeah. natural world? And what does that mean? Mm. You know, um, and I think that's, yeah, what people are thinking about right now. It raises all those questions. And interesting that Jean wrote this in 1996, so 20 mm -hmm. years ago. And people are saying it's very Orwellian. Our yeah. dependency <laughs> on electricity, yeah. because ultimately that is what's happening here as a, as a thematic. The lights go out, the power goes out. Mm -hmm. You're always waiting. Is it going to come back tomorrow? Mm -hmm. It starts off very much like that, which is how it would play out. You can't access your technology. There's mm -hmm. no internet. And you're very hopeful mm -hmm. it'll come back up the next day until mm -hmm. it doesn't. Mm -hmm. What was it like working alongside Evan Rachel Wood in this? You're both brilliant as siblings. Oh, you're so, so I love Evan. I've always loved Evan. I always wanted to work with her. We were just acquaintances when this um, all, you know, began. And I sent her the script. And she said yes immediately. And then we were, you know, we were like, oh, we just need to hang out all the time now because we're playing sisters and we became you know so close and she is just so powerful I mean she is just so incredible to watch work and uh, I feel so lucky that she did this movie yeah a beautiful dancer in this film such intimate moments that you can really relate to you know with any family member the lengths that you would go through to protect one another and very much a go girl power cast which yeah. was so nice to see shot in Vancouver but you're from the East Coast yeah, uh -huh, yeah. You're from uh, Nova I'm, Scotia I'm from Halifax yeah so what are you hoping that people take from this is it a reconnecting with nature because your character now is kick butt when it comes to <laughs> foraging hunting and gathering and yeah. defense how would you fare do you feel oh, in that situation I'd be, uh, useless Me I would too. be utterly useless I have no skills to provide yeah. um, but I do think I will say the the for me, reading the book, and I and I hope the movie too, despite it being intense and scary and you know brutal and tragic in moments, I hope is full of uh, uh, I, f I hope it makes people feel empowered and hopeful because all ev everything that they're learning in this movie is is knowledge that's available to us. Yes, it's just we've lost a lot of it, and and you know myself included, and I and it makes me want to know more. It makes yeah. me want to know oh, what can I forage or how can I. Can I grow food or uh, do better for the planet? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, and so that's that's to me something that really shined through for me. Yeah. And you shine through in so many ways. Can uh, we please say congratulations? So proud here at City uh, to not only Carrie Vice but your incredible show, Gaycation, uh, season two. Uh -huh. What has this been like? You've been uh, all over the internet with, you know, very many episodes and clips that are taken anywhere from Ted Cruz to uh, seeing a young man come out to his family in Japan. You are really, it's groundbreaking. Yeah, and it's mainstream, which is incredible. Yeah, I mean, the um, I've been really blown away uh, by how people have responded to it and that it's getting seen and um, it really means so much to me but you know really I have nothing to do with it you know it's 
people are being moved and inspired by the stories that you know individuals around the world are sharing despite the danger that they're in despite the trauma that they faced and they're they're willing to to be vulnerable and uh and, and be a part of this and i'm so grateful for that and their stories have really reached people and um and i just can't even express how fortunate i feel to have been able to have this experience and continue to have this experience. Your humility comes through in everything you do and we're so grateful because with your huge celebrity platform comes a lot of power and you use it in the best way possible. So thank you on this very first day of Pride Month in oh. Toronto, Ellen Page. Please see Into the Force. It hits theaters this Friday and we look forward to see what you're going to be bringing us in season two. Gay oh, thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.